Hello everyone, welcome to Shri Voyage. Today we have some fun newness by Dior and Chanel. I got some Chanel eyeliners in, the new Dior Cruise 22 palette, and a new limited edition lip gloss by Chanel. So let's go ahead and do the swatches. We will try it on together, and then I will give you a mini review. Let's get started. All right, so there were the swatches. I have not yet played with these. I cannot wait to get them on my face. So let's go ahead and jump into creating a look with these new products. I wanna start first with the eyeliners because I wanna get them right on my bare skin with no shadow around them and really see what they look like on their own. So I'm gonna do the black on this side and the plum on this side. Now, now for those of you who have been using Chanel eyeliners for a long time, you know that they're absolutely wonderful and they do not move but they dry out in the tube after a couple of months. So hopefully they have reformulated these. That is kind of why I think they have relaunched them and all these new colors because I'm sure, or at least I hope, that someone in their creative development team said, hey, you know, these are great for like a month or two and then they dry out. I'm gonna try these on now and in the next month or so, I'm gonna check back in with you guys and see how the formulation is holding up inside this case. Now, for those of you that have problems putting eyeliner on, I recommend working off the side of the pencil because it's easier to just wiggle it against the lash line in little tiny stitch-like effect rather than trying to draw with the tip of the eyeliner. Really creamy, love that. But they always are in the beginning. I'm so hopeful that it stays this way for the next month in the tube. But so far, so good. I'm going in that waterline on the inside of the upper lash line here. All right, so far so good. A couple makeup artist tips I wanna give you guys right now. If you have a terrible time putting eyeliner on and no matter what you do with your pencil, it's just very hard for you, definitely invest then in a cream pot. I did also get the Chanel Calligraphy Eyeliner Pot. I'm not doing it today, but I will be doing a full eyeliner video for you guys soon because I bought several eyeliners recently. But invest in a cream pot because you can get a really great angled brush and stamp it across the lid. Now the Chanel Cream Calligraphy Pot did come with this little brush. It's wonderful, it's stiff, it has a perfect angle. And what I mean by stamping, I'm just gonna show you guys here briefly, is you load the brush on each side and then you can go in and stamp it against the lash line. And because it has that angle, you can go on the outside and stamp the outer edge of the eye to get a cat eye effect and then just bring it in. So definitely a great option. Now let's head back to the liner in the pencil, or the retractable pencil, I should say. And I'm gonna grab my MAC 266 brush. 
I'm gonna show you guys how to create a really beautiful line at the edge of the eye if you wanna create a little bit of an upturned eye and a soft, sexy cat eye. Once you put your liner on, take your brush, put a little extra at the edge here, take your brush, and instead of drawing a line with the retractable pencil, use your brush to smudge out the outer edge basically pulling that product outward to create a lighter day friendly cat eye or for those of you with aging eyes that don't want a hard graphic line but want a little bit of an upturn a little bit of a sexy feline flick against the eye definitely use your brush and just pull out that product that you have as your liner Pretty cool, right? And when I tell you guys that these don't move, they do not move. These can be worn in the shower and they won't come off. <laughs> you need an eye makeup remover to take these off. But it's great for contact lens wearers. It's great for those of you who have oily lids, for those of you who have droopy lids, for those of you that are always having problems with transfer, especially under the eye area, you will love this. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do the plum now on the other side. So here we have the plum liner. I'm just working off the side of the pencil here. so easy to use the pencil like this and just place it against the lash line. I just love it. Now if I want a little bit more definition, I'll come in here and just draw in this bridge area. So I want a really defined lash line. I'm going to take that same pencil and go right under the upper lash line and the water line underneath the lashes. And what this does is it creates a longer lash look because basically you're not leaving any space for white with the dark and the inner rim. It makes the lashes look that much longer because you're grabbing a dark color and it's just fading into the lash line so the lashes actually look longer. All right, I'm going to take my brush, which I wiped the black off. I'm going to do the same technique. I'm just going to grab whatever product was on the lash line. I'm dragging it out a bit to create bit of a cat eye here. I'm going to do this one a little bit shorter because I, I had this one dramatic and I want to show you guys how to do this one a little bit more minimal or day friendly. And I say day friendly because we think of daytime as something that's a little less like bold in your face rather than evening. But hey, if you want to rock your eyeliner all the way out to here, more power to you. And then I'm just going with the brush just like I did on the other eye and softening that edge. Now make sure to use all the real estate on your eye. Don't cut off any portion of the liner because what happens is if I just go from here to here, it makes the eye look smaller. Make sure that you go as far as you can. I even take mine a bit further than my natural eye and bring it down a bit even to make my eye as big and as elongated as possible so I get a fanned out large eye look. So here we have the black and here we have the plum. All right, I will even these two eyes out later, but let's go ahead and jump into this shadow quad. All right, so here we have the Dior eyeshadow quad. And I have to say, this was much prettier than I thought it was gonna be. Don't get me wrong, I think Dior shadows are gorgeous, but I like the way, for instance, this kind of basic white looks, it actually has a duochrome type effect to it. So it has a shift. So it's shifting from like blue and pink. Um, and even the gold and the taupes, they have kind of a 3D dimensional kind of pigmentation. So they're not just taupe, gold, white, or cream. It actually has a nice shift to it. All right, let's go ahead and get started with an eye look. I'm gonna grab my MAC 217S brush. All right, so I'm gonna grab this color here. And it might seem strange to you guys, but I really look at a palette and I kind of let it speak to me. I honestly do not look at these shadow palettes before and map it all out, I <laughs> maybe should, but I like to just go in and just see how it feels. I'll usually look at a palette and 
kind of has a way of just kind of telling me what it wants to do. I don't know, maybe that sounds weird to some of you guys, but I feel like color has its own language and I just go with it. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go into this crease area here. Using the same color, I'm just patting it on. I'm really staying in that socket and letting it transfer a bit onto the brow bone. And then I will lightly go back and forth, windshield wiper effect, take a look at my wrist. I'm not doing this. We don't want to pull hard on the eye. I'm really letting my wrist or my fingers do a lot of the work here. That also helps me keep control. I'm going to go ahead now and grab this taupe. I flipped my MAC 217 brush over and I'm going to go right on this outer edge with it. And I'm just pressing that in. What that does is I'm creating a shape with just using the brush and not moving any of the pigment around. And there I'll use the tip of the brush and lightly meet up with that eyeliner where it left off. Kind of matching them up so that I can create a true lift and an almond shape to the eye. This is really pretty, really neutral. I just did a video on the Bobbi Brown face and cheek palette and I love these two together. I'll pull it out in a minute and show you guys um, the colors side by side. Let's get the next brush here. This is my Tom Ford 11 brush and I'm grabbing that beautiful light gold color. I'm just going to place it right in the center and let it wiggle out to the edge here. Whatever's left over, I will put on the inner corner of the eye to the middle of the eye. I love this with the black liner. This is an incredibly chic, minimal look, and I love it. This is like almost kind of a French look to me. And for those of you who are French out there watching this video, tell me if I am right with that. I just feel like this has a kind of a French look. It's natural with some definition. Next color, I'm turning my Tom Ford 11 brush over, and I'm going to grab this beautiful kind of white iridescent cream color. I'm going to go right in the middle here, pop it, and then... I like to not go back and forth. I like to kind of meet it up into the middle. So I move this way and this way. Helps me to control the color, like where I'm depositing it. I find if I just do this, it becomes just one block of uh, white cream or whatever we use for our highlighter brow bone area. So if I just place it here and then just kind of meet it up on each side, just find it looks a little more natural. Now I'm really curious about taking a little bit of this white cream kind of color and putting a little bit out here. Yep, Woo. love it. <laughs> Ooh, yes. I'm gonna kick that back a bit with a brush. I don't want it to be too much here. Now, last color. All right, I'm gonna take this middle color, which is kind of like a rose bronzy gold. I'm gonna go right underneath this lash line. Briefly, this is a beautiful formulation and the color arrangements in this palette. Pretty, really pretty. All right, other eye, and then we'll go into the last new product I got. So I wanna go ahead and show you guys quickly the palette of 22 Cruise Look against the Bobbi Brown Face and Cheek Palette. Look at how well these go together. And I'm wearing both of these on my face right now. It's a beautiful, minimal, 
day-to-day -day look. Love these together. And like I said, I just did a video on this, so I will link that down below for you guys. Let's get into this beauty, you guys. I live for orange. Orange is the color of joy and abundance, and basically it's red, which is passion and love, and yellow, which is joy and abundance. You mix them together and you get a beautiful color, which is orange. So this gloss is just right up my alley. Chanel just came out with two new orange colors, which is this one, which is called True, and one called Living Orange. And there's also one called Bitter Orange. So there are four different oranges. Some are creamy and kind of light and pastel, and then it gets really deep, kind of bright tomato orange red. And I will be getting those other three because, like I said, I love orange. Let's go ahead, though, and try True On today. This is what I call my summer lip. Now, oranges can be tricky depending on your skin tone as well as your teeth. Um, because it has yellow in it, you want to be really careful with anything that's orange because it can make your teeth look yellow if you don't uh, use any brightening or any whitening kind of things on your teeth. So make sure your teeth are nice and bright before you put any kind of gold orange tones around your mouth. But there is four different colors. So depending if you're light, medium, or deep skin, there will be a color for you definitely. I mean, this is summer. This is summer on the lips. I have yet to find a better gloss than Chanel glosses. They just do the best damn glosses, you guys. There's just no other way to put it. They're just damn good. <laughs> All right, so I am layering up this so that you guys can see the color payoff. All right, so here we have True. And this color, along with Living Orange, is limited edition. I hope Chanel keeps it, because I love it. But, just so you guys know. Briefly, why they are so wonderful is not just because the color payoff and they feel great, but it has coconut oil in it, vitamin E, and peptides. So they do help plump the lips, and they have a nice hydration texture and feel, as well as a gorgeous kind of wet, glossy mirrored look to the lip. So overall, I'm happy with every single piece. This is most likely going to be in my July favorites. I love this eyeshadow palette. I'm so glad I got it. Really, really pretty, going to be a go-to. It's just one of those ones where I could see using it every single day. The eyeliners, so far, so good. I will let you guys know if these beauties hopefully have been reformulated and don't dry out in the tube. And I think you guys know how I feel about this lip gloss. I love it. So there you go. <laughs> All right, we have hit the end of this video. If you guys have any questions or suggestions, comment down below. If you guys want to support Shri Voyage, all you have to do is use those affiliate links down below for any products that you see here. I also have a list right underneath there of tons of different department stores that you can shop for online and in store, and that will help me greatly. And don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment down below and hit that thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video. A lot of newness is coming in per usual. So keep an eye out. Until then, please take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and I'll see you soon. Bye everyone.